Hello fellow leggers! Um, I've got to say I'm quite excited and I'm excited, excited that you're joining us but I'm more excited to be right here at a musical which a early critic said was only suitable for ladies matinees, misogynists and homos. Well they're right in a number of those. Well I at least one I should think. <laughs> and that is the musical company which we're seeing here at the Gilgood Theatre. So stick around to find out how many stars and whether it's break a leg or leg it. Phone rings, door chimes, in comes company, and come on in, fellow leggers. You are our company, fellow leggers. You are indeed. Now, like I say, I am quite excited for a number of reasons. Okay. Um, I, can I say right off the bat, not my favourite Sondheim. Well, you're a bit hit and miss with Sondheim really anyway, am aren't you? You can't with into the woods. You're kind of done well, with. I'm done with that. This is some topical conversation yeah, here. Let's I know not go you won't off on too much of a tangent, but. <laughs> Director Marianne Elliott, yep. who recently won Tony Award, Olivier Award for Angels in America. Yep. Um, she did The Light Princess with one of the stars from this at the National a few years ago, which had she great did. production. Shame about the score. War Horse. Yes, and I mean, to have her doing a musical again, that's an exciting thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, I've got to throw in there Curious Incident of Dog in Night Time. Yes, my favourite play of all time. So How could big I stuff forget? for Marianne Elliott. Big stuff. Um, cast wise, Pretty, pretty big names in this. We've got Rosalie Craig, who was in the aforementioned Light Princess. Who, and she also was in City of Angels at the Donnell she House. She was indeed. She's beautiful, got a great voice. Mel Gidroich of Mel and Sue fame in this. Jonathan Bailey, personal heartthrob of mine, also okay. in this. Richard Fleishman that we saw in The Last Ship, also in this. The names keep coming and coming and coming. For those of you that don't know, it's written by Stephen Sondheim, and it's the story of Bobby, um, and sort of her relationships with other people, with um, a lack of relationship with a man, in this case a man, because what was before? It was a male. It's always been a man always before. Always been a male. This is a revolutionary production. Yeah, Marianne Elliott has totally made it 2018, spun it all on its head, and now we have a woman playing Bobby. We have a gay couple in this now. What? Yeah, we have a couple that were a heterosexual couple and now a gay couple. Okay. And I'm, I'm just totally burying the lead here for me because what is most exciting is an opportunity to see live on stage the one, the only, the queen, Patty LaPone. I knew we were getting there somewhere. Oh okay. my god. Like, words cannot describe how excited I am. She, um, Tony Award for Evita on Broadway. She, she started off Women with on Sunset the Verge. Boulevard. She did Sunset Boulevard here, did um, Masterclass here. War Paints, just. Yes, over on Broadway. And she said she'd never do a musical again, but Marianne and Stephen have dragged her out of semi retirement and said, Get your ass on that stage, LaPone. We've got tickets to sell. And it's work because we're here. Okay, so is there anything else we need to know before we go in? Two and a half hours-ish, including a 20-minute interval. So we'll be catching up with you then for our 30-second interval breakdown. And also stick around to the end to hear our thoughts and how many stars. We've come to the interval, which means it is time for the Break of Eggers. 30-second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. So, what do you think? I'm blooming loving it. I'm going to call it now. I can see this getting best new musical next year. Best revival, I think best it would be. Best revival, would it be? Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Direction, performances, writing, changing of um, genders. It works, it works, it works. So how about you? Yeah, I love it. I think there's so many performances in this that are going to get nods at the Olivier's. Yes. You may as well call it now. I think I could write the list. Uh, it's a great show. It's a fantastic production. And it means something more to me now. Come to the end, and and we've got a gooseberry. Who the bloody hell's this? You can, I can see you asking. <laughs> Just like in um in company, when it is, I guess. Bill, um, what's the name? Bobby. 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 Yeah. Bobby's been a We've bit of a good just seen it. Like. Well, it's, anyway. So let's introduce you to Kenny. Kenny is one half of me and my shadow, who oh. is Nathan and Kenny's like band, basically. Me and my shadow.co.uk for all booking inquiries. 
quick plug there. Weddings, bar mitzvahs <laughs> and funerals. Yeah, anything goes really. <laughs> so um, Kenny is joining us for our debrief because he was also in the audience for what this one. What a coincidence. One. What a coincidence. I tell you, it was a bit of a star-studded audience this evening. It was, wasn't it? Oh yeah, my goodness. Everyone that was, everybody was there. Anyone who's and anybody. Then there was us. And uh, us as well, obviously. <laughs> okay, so we beefed up this show during the interval. Come yeah. the end, has it lived up to what it set up? I would say yes. I would say the payoff is great. I would say it resonates for me personally in a way that it probably didn't the last time I saw it, which was probably around five years ago now. I think reaching that age that that character is at and also being married now has put a totally different spin on this and that I feel the humanity of it and I feel the sort of the, the, the beauty of what life can throw at you when you are or aren't in a relationship and both are valid okay so is that a compliment on the writing you got the writing this time yeah and well actually it's probably a more compliment for the director because last time i saw it i didn't feel it and maybe that was in the production this time around marianne elliott has gone to show that she is probably the premier talent that we have as a british theater crowd at the moment Okay, so big plaudits for her then. Mm -hmm. um, go on then, Kenny, what did you think of company? Uh, wow. And uh, we can laugh at that because, hey, that appears a few times. Um, I've seen the show many times. Bobby's a part I've always wanted to play. Uh, and not to steal Simon Slender, if he maybe said it at the interval, but um, I don't know that I can see it being played again by a fellow after having seen it played by a woman. Um, it just doesn't it work. Yeah. Everything resonated. I can't it was... imagine a man in that role. I mean, the relationships that Bobby has with other people just work so much better when it's a woman that isn't being pandered to. She, you know, she's a strong female, which is really great. But yeah, I think as a man, it, he would almost come across as a bit wet. Yeah, okay. I, I think some of the danger of watching it when it is just a man is the big question that hangs over Bobby is, 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 he, is he gay? Is he gay? And you, you don't get this at all. There is absolutely no question about the lead character's sexuality, which, uh, which clarifies a lot. Yeah, her, her fears are just so much different yeah. because marriage is such a big thing for a female because after marriage comes children and children is such a physical demanding change. Everything changes after children yeah. physically and, and all of those fears are explored in this so cleverly. The sequences are brilliant. Before this piece has always been for me a collection of scenes whereas this was a collection of moments all drawn together. Do you feel it tied up the ends well? Beautifully Created, More yeah. so than you've seen before. As Creative a vision beyond anything I've ever seen before. Yep. Like uh, th th to see, to be able to envisage these songs in a different way. Uh, th it's inspired, completely absolutely inspired, inspired yep, storytelling. Word. It is absolutely fantastic. Let's move on That's to a I bit think. of production now. Okay. Um, for me, I thought the lighting was superb. Like, yeah. I, I've got a feeling it's the same lighting that Marianne uses a lot. She knows her people. Neil Austin, so he did Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which had amazing lighting. Yeah. Ink, which had amazing lighting. Fantastic. Um, yeah, you know, it's he's doing really great things, and I thought it was beautiful. It was dynamic. It was surprising. I loved the lighting. Integrated lighting set as well, because there's some box pieces there's box pieces of set yeah. which are really quite tricky to light when they're so enclosed mm. yeah. so the integrated lighting to get those up it's just really brilliant integration and let's talk about Bunny Christie's set for a moment uh, she's the lady herself yeah she's <laughs> she must have uh, OB or Dame coming her way right <laughs> do you reckon and night had something she has now Dame for Bunny. her for, for her contribution to the set designing world yes like anything that is of anything of substance has been attributed to her I've got to say, there was nothing particularly original about her set here. There was much of what we'd seen in Angels of America had been wheeled back out, much of what we'd seen in Heisenberg especially, and a little touch of curious incident with regards to the sort of integrated lighting around the stage is all stuff we've seen before. It's been sort of replayed here in a slightly different format and a slightly different what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it's not paint by numbers, the numbers are in a slightly different order, but we have seen it before, but you know what, it works. I would go a step aside to say, I see what you mean, but completely no, because there's a brilliant also touches, of almost Alice through the looking glass in this, yeah. in terms of Jeez. playing with scales and size from going really big to really small, as if she is being dragged along through this story, 
again, inspired. I don't know if that came from the director or the set designer or just a beautiful collaboration of all three exploring the themes of what's going on. Performances, Kenny, anyone that stood out to you? Um, I couldn't wait for Patty to do her big number, Ladies Who Lunch, and boy, did she deliver. Um, yes. Bobby. Yeah, um, Rosalie, Rosalie Craig. Rosalie Craig, absolutely stunning. Um, uh, Amy stroke Jamie. Yeah, uh, I think we mentioned it uh, at interval. Uh, yeah, Jonathan yeah. Bailey is going to get that's where the award Olivia's nominations thrown. I feel as if we need to slow this down, right? Mm. So the okay. first one we talked about, Patty Lapone. Let's, yes. let's give a little bit of a moment. I, I think because the thing is, everybody knows that song, "Ladies Who Lunch," and everybody knows Patty Lapone if you're into musical theatre. Yeah, and I think it's, I went into it going, "Oh, come on, what, what's she going to do now? This is a song we all know. Surely she can bring nothing fresh to this." No, she <laughs> she brought something fresh to this. She did, and uh, you know I've seen her do that number in previous productions until I'm blue in the face, and it was different this time. It almost yeah. felt a little bit more reserved and a little bit more insular, and said more about the character herself than I've seen it done before. It was almost her journey in that song rather than it just being directed to Bobby, and I thought that was a really interesting choice. Um, I love her anyway she can do no wrong in my eyes but and have an experience with her this evening and breathing the same air wow <laughs> yeah that's I was, enough for me because you I were very much happy. you were very much like oh but it's got patty in it i was like oh, okay patty she's, she's good she lives up to the hype mm -hmm. i guess that's the thing she's where she is for a reason she's yeah. a fantastic phenomenal actress ever all those one-liners she can deliver so dryly we as an audience were hanging off every single word she could do no wrong we were with her she made it really fantastic rosalie craig rosalie craig um as bobby I, like I'd say, I think it's as much a credit to her to say that I couldn't imagine it now being done by a man. She's yeah. made that role her own, and considering it's been done so many times before by so many men, yeah. that is the main achievement here. Because I've, you know, walked away from it just not, not wanting. Hey, how you doing? I don't want to see another interpretation of it. I think they've also adapted it so well. Director Sondheim coming in, rewriting some of the words, and the characters mm. like to make it now and make it relevant to Bobby, a female Bobby. Yeah. I think if you read the reaction uh, as we saw tonight of the rest of her cast members around her when she came down to take her bow, I think that speaks volumes for how They're much input she all. probably had into yeah. creating that part. Um, and, and absolutely the groundbreaking. You talk about the biggest surprise of the night, Mel Gidroich. She's so good. She's so I, you know, good. I didn't even realise it was her until halfway through her scene. She's got her first scene in the, in the big living room. And then the penny dropped. I thought, oh yeah, she's in it. She is so strong as an actress. Forget about what you know about her from Bake Off and from her presenting Man days. Too. She's got so much more talent than, than has ever been. she's been given credit for. Yeah. And that is really well demonstrated and is a joy to watch and I can't wait to see her in the next thing she does. Yeah. Yes. She did a little turn in Rocky Horror when they broadcast that live but she was playing herself and it was Bake Off heavy but no she's coming into her own now and we're going to see more of her acting I think. And she's very good. Mm. Um, who was the guy you were talking about who sang the um, Not Getting Married Today? Jonathan Bailey. Now I'm just saying I love you but if he's available I'm available. <laughs> just say it. Well he I'm doesn't want, want to get married I don't think. That's alright I don't that want to marry today. him. Not today anyway. Exactly. That number and that sequence was inspired mm -hmm. as a creative vision and storytelling and he drove that and the scene afterwards beautifully I would say we, we call this now um, supporting Olivier Award supporting role I would put money on it going to him at this moment in time he's got it wow. it's in the bag sorry guys the rest of you everybody can go else home. can go home because it is fantastic yeah. the and I think, is fantastic. I think the point to make there is if you think about when when we play it with a male bobby or when the, when the production's been done with a male bobby and you think about the three girls in bobby's life and you think how memorable are they how memorable are their big numbers and let's be honest maybe they're not this way round with three guys, Barcelona, 
Yeah. Wow. The it whole worked. whole sequence. Yeah, worked. it did. For so many yes. reasons. The whole baby thing. <laughs> pregnancy. Yes, yeah. yes, the, yes, the, yes. The inspired direction. Yeah. Another hundred people just got off of the train, which is either the best or the worst number in musical theatre history, depending on your view. Tonight, for the first time ever, for me, really, really worked. Wow. Inspired again. Um, I, you can drive a person crazy. Yeah, let's mention Richard Fleishman as Andy, Alex, and um, sorry, Matthew Seedon Young as Theo. Um, the great thing about that number is, is that the, the three of them? Is yeah, there, no, there's a oh, third. Is there another one? Um, I'm trying no, to find strength. his name, yeah. Have uh, we done oh, and George Blagden as PJ. He's got lovely arms. <laughs> <laughs> They've completely <laughs> changed that number into some some almost like beautiful Mr. Sandman barbershop yeah. um, trio. Yeah. And it works so well, especially as it's a number we've seen done so many times. Yeah, every review show, every Sondheim review show it's in. It's in, like, side by side by Sondheim, put it together. I just feel like I hear it all the time. And again, side by side, you just mentioned it. How inspired yeah. the party uh, sequence. Opening to so act two. Inspired yeah. choreography as yeah, well. Yeah, the choreography direction. really came into its own there, didn't oh, it? Choreographer by, well, dance arrangements by Sam Davis. Okay. An assistant choreographer who's just as important, Simone Salt. Okay, I feel as if um, we need to just probably, the whole cast in its entirety, yeah, obviously you've got Bobby, the boy, and then you've boy, got boy. five um, couples, and I think you've also got the three guys, yep. yeah. and then you've got a supporting cast, I think there was an ensemble of five people mm -hmm. in the background, yep. it's about 19 people in total, yep. uh, we've only pulled out a few, but they were all fantastic, an absolutely solid company, yep. anything with Sondheim, you've got to be able to be a fantastic actor, yep. as well as a singer. singer. And he is Marmitey Sondheim. I and mean, let's just say for a moment, he isn't to everybody's taste, but I think the production here would, it has breathed such fresh energy into it that even if you didn't think he was for you, you would maybe come away with a different opinion. I think it's almost like the greatest love story. I felt this to be our absolute, come the end, this is a beautiful love story about relationships and living and what it means to be alive, to be in a relationship. That The song, Being Alive, again, we've heard so many times in isolation, but once you go through Bobby's story, it means so much come to the end. I'm thinking, uh, yes, I understand why I'm in a relationship now. I understand why I have the joy and the pain and the anger and the frustration and the caring just for I'm being right, alive. I'm right here. I'm and right it's here. all an important part of living, and that is love. And it's a great love story without there being the relationship. Must be talking about someone else. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just inspired storytelling. It's adult and it's intellectual. So whether you like Sondheim or not, if you love theatre, yes. this run is only till the 22nd of December. Doesn't matter who you have to kill, get a ticket. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I guess you kind of mm -hmm. talk about legs, unless there's anything else you want to go no, on to. No, how many stars are we going to give company? So company at the Gielgud Theatre, we are going to give... Come this way. Five! Five stars, it's an absolute full house. I yeah. want to say, I think this will transfer this production. Well, transfer to New York? To New York. Mm, yeah, I think it's that strong. Marianne is doing so well. Because it's not the been that long since we had a company on Broadway. No, and the, well, the production is so good. With this inspired storytelling, it deserves to go across the pond. I think with Angels in America, she's a bit of a, a bit of a sort of baby of theirs. Like she's a, they're in love with her at the moment, yep. so I think that will really help her. But yeah, I could see this working really well on state side. Go and see this. I think it's gonna get five across all of the reviews. Yeah. I think this will Olivier's. sweep the Olivier's in yeah. a lot of fields. Originally, what did we say? 14 Tony Awards, the original production. It was nominated for uh, Nominated for one six. six. I can see it doing it uh, very well again. I know we've got big stuff coming over from Broadway. For what is it, Dear on Hampton, Come From Away. Yeah. But I think as this is so a contender, this is very strong. But that's just what we think. Just what we What think? do you think? Pop down below, leave us a comment, let us know. Maybe you loved it, maybe you hated it. There's no shame in that. We're fine with both, but we'd love to hear from <laughs> let you. Let us know your Sondheim experience. Simon says that with a smile on his face, but he really does I totally it. do! <laughs> <laughs> we're, Kenny's not coming back, but we're the Breaker Leggers, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.